Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome to the Tarot Room. My name is Robin, and Sagittarius, today we're going to do a reading about the person on your mind. Let's talk about this person, shall we, Sagittarius? Let's find out how they're feeling about you in the present moment. Let's talk about what they consider the obstacles, challenges, or barriers between you two, and we'll get their actual in the near future. We have a new chapter, trying to move on, Okay. Maybe they're trying to move on from something from their past. Maybe you are. Or maybe you guys are trying to move on from each other. We're going to find out. Wow. Page of Pentacles is how they feel about you. The death is the obstacle, challenges, or barriers. Oh, Saji. Okay. And there's the Ace of Cups. Let's see what direction that goes. There's a Two of Swords. There's definitely a crossroads here. So there's obviously some kind of separation here between you and your person. Or a rift, an argument. There's something going on here with this Two of Swords. There's obviously a crossroads. Let's talk about this page of pentacles because they feel that you're exploring other options, looking in different directions. Um, could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Wow. Heavy emphasis on Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could have children with this person here at this queen of pentacles. Four swords in reverse. Or there could just be single mom, single dads, the moon. Look at, we have the whole little courtyard family here. So you could have a family with this person or there's children involved here. Um, they feel that you're very... <clears throat> self-aware here Sag focusing on yourself focusing on your family focusing on your children if you got those but just focusing on yourself the four of swords is doing what's best for you you're coming up very caring very nurturing very patient very very easygoing very understanding um but there's the moon there so there's things that they don't trust they could have trust issues there's things they think they don't know they could find you mysterious very intuitive eight of pentacles very career oriented there's justice very fair very balanced so you're coming off as very ethical could be dealing with a libra cancer pisces energy so they see you as nurturing, caring, self-aware, patient, easygoing, understanding, a good mother or father if you have children. So let's talk about this obstacle because it's kind of the death, which is, you know, a little bit of an obstacle, a challenge here. What is the death energy? Let's better understand this, ob this obstacle for the person on Sagittarius' mind. Talk to us right now. What we got? What we got, baby? Resistance. Oh. Oh. Wow, Sag, what the heck? There's the emperor. There's the king of swords. The challenge is getting rid of options. So um, there's a resistance here to let go of options. They don't want to let go of options. They want a fresh start, but they want to keep options open. So they're being a little stubborn, a little resistance here. Um, the death is more of a change than an ending. So the, the obstacle here is for this person, they might lack a lot of attention. They might could be a player. They could just be very promiscuous. They don't want to settle down. Whatever those are, the obstacle is them changing and they don't want to change. Uh, they do not want to let go of their options. Uh, they want to keep their options open. Sag, I'm sorry to say that. Whatever your situation is, that's a challenge from their perspective. They want to keep their options open. That's why there's a crossroads here. Okay. So let's talk about the Ace of Cups. This is the direction they're going. What the fuck? What is up with your person, Sajay? <laughs> like, what's going on here? We got judgment. They're stuck. They don't know if they want a relationship with you or not. They That part of them does, but a part of them wants to keep their options open. So a part of them enjoys single life. A part of them recognizes the value within you. They want to relationship. But right now, they're not doing anything. I just see them caught in this crossroads, not certain. Obviously, you've laid the line down. You're not an option. If they want to be with you, be with you. If not, go explore your options, mofo. Uh, but ultimately, they need to make a decision right now. They're not. Um, they're caught. So, sad you have a person who doesn't know what they want. The devil could be known with the Capricorn or someone who's just, maybe they're a sex addict. <laughs> um, this person likes to keep their options open. So you got yourself someone who's not necessarily uh, that loyal here. And they're considering whether they can change, right? It's about being self-aware. Can they change? Can they be loyal? Or are they going to stay in their old ways or old patterns? Old habits are hard to die. So, Sag, we're going to grab some oracles. We're going to see what they want to say. We're going to get back to the tarot. We'll see how this plays out. Because right now we're at a crossroads. I don't really see a lot happening. So, what's the caring connection here between Sagittarius and the person on their mind? Confusion. <laughs> uh, yeah, we feel that. So, all seekers of truth experience confusion. Ask the divine for the answers that you need. Okay. Let's grab the hidden truth, Sajay. Right? They could say something they're not saying. They want to say they should. Maybe they shouldn't. What would it be, baby? What would it be? There's a few things here. I wish I could share my good news with you. You speak to me through music. You were the best thing in my life. I want you. There's that physical desire. And on the bottom, we have abandonment issues here. I left before you could leave me. 
Maybe that's why they like to have their options open. Strokes three go, makes them feel good. Okay, Sag, well, let's get your potential outcome. Now, when I say potential, it's always free will, baby. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make here. And when I say outcome, we'll see how you're doing in a month. Let's see how things are progressing. Let's see how things are going. Let's see if anything happens right now. I just see a crossroads. I don't see a lot of change or trend. I don't really see a lot going on here. Well, we have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. We have the Four of Pentacles. Interesting. The Page of Pentacles is how they feel about you. And now it's upside down. Okay. There's a Three of Wands. All right, what's on the other side of that three of wands? It's better understand where you're going here. The Empress in reverse. Whoa, King of Pentacles. Whoa, Ten of Cups. There's the Ten of Wands. There's the Page of... I want one more into that Page of Swords. There's the Eight of Swords. Here's the thing. <laughs> it's so confusing. I don't know what's going on with your person, Sagittarius. Can't figure them out. I can't figure them out. They're a mystery, Scooby-Doo. The Page of Pentacles in reverse with the Four of Pentacles is someone learning the lesson and, and just kind of realizing that holding back doesn't benefit them. Not going after what you want, it really only hurts one person, and that's you, right? Like, if you don't go after what you want, no one's going to go after it for you. You're just going to be stuck there wondering, well, damn, I want this, but I didn't go after it. Uh, a lot of us in life do that. <laughs> this person's kind of learning that that's not um, what they want. You're what they want. There's a three of wands. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but we had the king, the queen, the page, and the knight. We had the whole pentacle family here on the table. So there definitely could be children or they feel you could be a child of, or excuse me, a mother or a father in the future or to their stepchildren if they have kids, but they want to step up to the plate here. You make them happy, but there's this burden because the empress is in reverse. They didn't treat you the way that they were supposed to treat you and they don't know how to come back from that. So right now what I see them is spying, weighing, oh, there's the message. But they're still guarded. They're surrendering, though. There's the sun. So in a month, this person's going to kind of pick up the phone, pick up the text, get in the car, put their pedal to the metal, bang, bang. And they're going to come and talk to you. They've been spying on you. Um, and that's the thing. They've realized that that doesn't benefit them. But here's the other thing. There's one, two, three pages here. And pages typically represent a little bit of an argument, a little bit of a disagreement. Could be just pettiness. Could be somebody being immature. Um, so there might be a little disagreement when they contact you, but you will, or I mean, if you're in contact, there might be a disagreement when they come forward telling you what they want. There could just be some kind of disagreement here, Satch. <laughs> it could be about many different things. It's a general reading. However, this person's realizing that their thoughts were holding them back. They know it makes them happy. Ten of Cups is here and it's you, and that's what they're coming to tell you. You know, when we can look at this knee, he always reminds me of, you know, voice to men on bended knee, right? Because um, he's on his bended knees, he's kind of surrendering, he's put his sword down, he's surrendering to his feelings, he can't hide them anymore, right? You make this person happy, Sag. In a month, they're going to make their move. In a month, they're going to try and progress this forward. But there is a little bit of, well, hesitancy on your end or the feminine end because the feminine doesn't like how they were treated. So I feel that there's a decision to be made. There's going to be a reach out here. Let's see. What, what can you say about this conversation or anything Sag needs to know about this conversation that's coming through here, this reach out? What they're going to say, what their intentions. What does Sag need to know? They want to put the past behind them. They want to speak their truth. Yeah. There's, a, there's that competition, though. They're still, ah, uh, your person's, they're conflicted, Sag. Let's see if they change. The king, their feelings run deep for you, but this is someone who really does like to keep their options open. Look at this dapper gentleman. He likes attention. He likes people looking at them. Are they going to change? Are they going to change here for Sag? Wow. Yes. Whoa. And no. <laughs> what the fuck? There, Ace of Cups. There's a King of Wands. No. Trust your intuition when I say that. They're going to try. Okay, they're going to try for commitment, but they don't know how to commit. They don't know how to be loyal. This just isn't a loyal person, Sag. So protect your heart, guard your heart, be careful here. I see you moving on. I see this person trying to change, giving you maybe even false promises if they'd given them before. They want to, but I don't know, like Tupac told her, some people will never change. <laughs> so Sag, that's what's up. That's what I got. That's what's going down. So Sagittarius, if you like your reading, if you like my style, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Helps my channel to grow. Thank you, Sagittarius. I always appreciate your support. Thank you. Let's close your reading off today with a yes or no question. Yes or no. What's the answer for Sagittarius? Talk to us right now. You ready? The answer is no, Sag. That's what I have. I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.